whatever it is, like, you can take a little bit from me. I'm just a kid from Puerto Rico, bro, that just wanted to do beats because it was fun, and, and now I'm achieving my dreams, man. This is my vision. These are the things that I want to, like, give to the, to the people, to the kids that are starting to get into music. I didn't really give him any direction. Sometimes you just feel it. You, you say, like, I need to show this beat to this guy. Like, yo, here it is. Go crazy with it, man. Lo que hay. Cuando te envían el ritmo, me enviaste el fútbol del decía 6 de abril. So, el 6 de abril yo escuché el ritmo y ese mismo día yo le monté el coro. El coro salió de la primera, incluso hasta el... Ella no era así, ella no era así. Hasta eso salió de una, como que, pla, el gancho de... Si sí hay sol, hay playa. Si sí hay playa. Eso es, ese es, eso es lo más que cantan, por encima del coro. So I was born and raised in, in Puerto Rico. I grew up within Santurce. I know Nelly since I was like seven years old. Every Sunday when I see him at church, I'll give him a CD and he'll give me like his tips. Until one Sunday I made it where he would tell me like, yo, this is this is dope. He said like, yo, let me, let me take this to the studio. I'll show it to Hector. And at that specific moment, Hector was like, the man. And a couple hours later, he tells me like, yo, can you come to the studio tomorrow? Like he, he heard it and he liked it. And when I opened the door, it's not Nelly there, but Looney's there. That's like seeing God at that moment. That's like my idol. And he's like, are you the kid that makes beats? I don't know how he knows that I make beats, but I told him like, yeah, I make beats. So he, he's like, okay, show me. So he made me sit down and create a beat from scratch. And when he came back, he just like flipped. He went crazy. That same day, Looney, Looney tells me like, yo, you should talk to your mom because I want to sign you. It was, I think it's still one of the best days of my life. And from there, like the journey started. So I go to Acapulco, Mexico, just to like go in and start to create what was going to be the sound of this project. And this was like the first track. I don't play any instruments. So my thing is more of a, of a vibe. It doesn't even have to be music, man. Like, even like watching movies, like for me, it's a huge ins inspiration. And I was playing Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell is like a classic anime film. The first thing that really like started this track and, and created the whole vibe for it was this these chords over here. I was using the Prophet. It just gave me like a cool like vintage vibe to it. it, it if you can hear it, like it's kind of detuned even. It's not something that is really used in reggaeton. So after I have this, this melody, I sit down with my friend Richie. I go to these chords over here. I try to put the kick, one of the kicks, like where the kick goes and the snare goes. Normally on reggaeton you use like a sub bass, but on this one I wanted to try a uh, 808 sample. I think this is important that I didn't like talk about it, but it's like like a little vocal chop that goes exactly with the kick. So this percussion loop, it does kind of like the same thing where I put the kick and the snare like in, in the same parts. It just gives it a little bit of a more natural life feel and not just like uh, regular snares and, and kicks. So I finished creating like the whole drum pattern. And I felt in it like some guitars.
I love this reverse called Val Valhalla. Like this is the shimmer one. I think it gave it like a whole ambience to it. It's not just like a simple guitar where you're hearing like super clean. We filter it a little bit so we can put it like a little bit like it's under the water or something. This part I think really gave it like the whole essence and probably gave Bad Bunny a little bit of a understanding of what the vibe was. It was his idea to I like the the seagulls at the beginning. Having those tropical vibes for us is is in us. I'm so blessed to be born in Puerto Rico and have been able like to grow up over there. I've always been a fan of this song that I just decided to sample on this. And thank God like I had those files because, you know, working at Looney Tunes Studio, we have like old files of songs and it's one of my favorite songs. It's called Alocate by by Cyan. So let me throw it in there. And it just made it feel like crazy special. One of the tracks that was like one of my favorites in history, like reggaeton history, is this track right here. To have it be a part of something that I did just makes it even more special. And I don't know, I think. It's my first opportunity also going into like the sampling part. It gave me a little Kanye West moment. Okay, bro, no ha hecho para mí de verdad, en verdad, esta es una de las canciones que favorita de las que yo he hecho en toda mi, mi carrera. Y, y gracias, bro, en verdad, güey. Como siempre, mataste y. Y nada, de aquí vamos a seguir metiendo las más canciones. Pero no, gracias a ti, gracias a ti, gracias a ti. Siempre, siempre, siempre un placer trabajar contigo. Mi, mi productor favorito <laughs> Even if I'm not singing, if I'm not like doing lyrics on it, you can probably get a sense of who I am, what my uh, influences are. But at this point, it's just me. It's whatever I wanted to show to the world. Aquí el conejo, ingenious, Bad Bunny, Tiny, Korean Chuck. ¿Qué fue? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>